Hello love bangs, how are we? Can you guys see this beautiful background? I know I look like a crazy woman. I feel like I look absolutely insane. My eyes are so puffy. I like my hair, I have not washed it in a week. I'll be completely honest, I look insane. But I ran out into the middle of nowhere for like a week because I felt like I needed to get away very desperately. Um, we went camping for a couple days, which was awesome. And I had so much fun. I had absolutely no service, zero, zero to nada, nothing. It was on SOS mode. And so I was actually able to just like completely disconnect myself from this on online world, which was kind of what was getting to me. Um, and although I did post because I'm a maniac and I missed you guys, so I'd go into town and post real quick and come back. Um, it was just really nice to step away um, completely and fully. I couldn't, even after I posted, I, I drove into town just to post. So when I came back, I couldn't like read any of the comments or see how the video was doing or anything like that. I just was just being and it's been a moment since I felt like I've done that where I was just being. Um, anyways, there's a ton of bugs. Um, I feel like it's it's been a minute since I was just kind of being and not hyper fixated on how I came off or how I looked or how things were being portrayed or received or a lot of it has to do with how I look. Um, my job is very looked based. You guys know that the, or people who have been here the longest um, know that I've been, like I've struggled pretty heavily with body dysmorphia. I have lost a lot of weight. Um, I was heavy growing up. I was really bullied growing up. Just things like that. And so to all of a sudden come into a job that is very much like look oriented, also social oriented, was so outside of my comfort zone. And do not get that mistaken with being not grateful. I am so grateful. I beat myself up for hafting to or for even getting overwhelmed to begin with because I feel so grateful that this is even something that I get to do um every single day like for a job it's it, it's an it's unreal it's something I dreamt of when I was like a little kid I always had like a YouTube kid I was based I was super, like, raised off of YouTube um so now that I get to do social media full time and then not only that my beauty basically is what pays the bill so it all just kind of feels surreal you know but it's so much different than who i feel like i very much am as a person i never posted on social media growing up i liked makeup and stuff but i did it like how i did it which was not always the best <laughs> um my hair has always been a crazy mess and it's never been perfect and it's never been pretty and it's always been kind of poofy and big and just like wavy and just not like pretty and perfect and I'm not pretty and perfect. I'm not this pretty perfect life. I am not this super social adventurous person. I'm not this club girl. Um, I don't like to go out and go do a bunch of things and I don't, I don't know but so I guess going on to social media made me feel like I had to be all of those things. Um, I had to get the nail extensions. I had to get prettier. I had to live a certain way or be a certain way. And I, I don't know, I, I guess I've just been kind of holding myself to all of these expectations that to be honest, you guys have really never even rewarded me for. And let me clarify that when I say that because I, I, I don't even think it's a bad thing. The videos that do the most well on any of my platform is whenever I'm just so simply being myself. And to me, that is you guys basically showing me without even having to say it, of like, we like you for who you are. You don't have to be this pretty perfect, like Instagram baddie basically in order for us to still enjoy you and want to enjoy and consume your content and be your friend or whatever it is in this personal relationship. And so that's what I mean by that. Like you guys never re even rewarded the content where I felt like I was trying to be someone else. If anything, I felt like you guys called me out being kind of like, what is this, you know? And so 
I think just allowing myself to take a step back and just, I don't know, get to feeling like myself again. I've been wearing no makeup. I haven't cared about the way I've looked. I haven't even had a mirror. Like, I can't look at myself. Like, I've just was forced to just kind of have no thoughts about the way I look or like I said, people perceiving me or anything like that. And it was just so nice and I just really needed it. And I feel like I needed that space, like I said, to come to that like realization conclusion that me trying to be all of those things that I'm not is not even helping me. It's only like, it's it's only harming me. And I mean that like, emotionally and I also mean that with like my content and with you guys and and with the social media world or this world that we've created together and I think that that was something I just like very much needed I get caught up in seeing other people's successes and just like wondering like you know why isn't that happening for me or what am I doing wrong or this, that, and not what not. And then I try to replicate that and I try to, I don't know, I just get so consumed by it. And I'm just realizing like, I'm so happy with you guys. Like I'm so happy with this space that we've created, this community that we've created. I'm so happy with this, like just you guys and this world and like just my world right now. I'm just happy and that I don't need to be like other people in order to feel justified in that. I think that because my life isn't glitz and glam and I'm not this super pretty supermodel, um, I needed to chase those things to feel justifiably happy with who I am or the place that I am at in my life. And I'm just coming to terms with kind of realizing that that's not, those two don't coincide and they have nothing to do with one another. I did not think I could look worse than I did in the first clip, but here we are. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's been a little hectic. I had to hurry up and leave because Victor came. If you guys wonder why I went ahead and paused so quickly, Victor came up because, so I was by like the lake, right? And everybody goes fishing there. I guess Victor is pretty smart and he learned that obviously like those fishing rods have fish attached to them. So apparently he waits until like midday when everyone's fishing and then he goes along the shore and he eats everybody's fish. Um, I do remember a little bit of what I was talking about, which was basically realizing that I didn't have to portray this version of me that I thought I needed in order to feel just justifiably like happy in myself or my life and just kind of coming to terms with like accepting me for who I am and not constantly trying to be something that I'm not, thinking that it will make me more valuable or a better person is kind of where I'm at right now in my thought process in this growing series and all of this. Um, and yeah, so that's where I'm at. I feel like this one was a little chaotic because Victor came in mid little, you know, update. So I'm sorry if it's a little chaotic, but that's kind of like the summary of what I've kind of gathered, I guess, this week and from this, this trip is that I, I need to stop trying to be something that I'm not thinking that it's going to appease you guys or somehow also make me happier. And that is something that I'm learning slowly but surely. And I think that contributes to everything, including like aesthetically. I've talked to you guys so much about this back and forth of where I realize that I do like being a little bit of a thicker girl, but then feeling this pressure of like, I would be more valuable if I was thinner. Like I feel like that mindset kind of controls a lot of like my thinking and stuff like that but anyways i'm gonna go because i literally look crazy i look absolutely crazy but i am at the end of this i didn't vlog um because again i didn't really do anything but i did take some clips from like while i was here in photos so i'm just gonna go ahead and insert some of them and not a ton but i've had a really good time so i just kind of want to show you guys some of the views and things like that so i'll insert them um Oh my god, and I got this pizza that was like the size of my face that I really wanted to show you guys, so I took a photo. And I'm going to here as well. It was $8, and it literally was bigger than my face. Um, but anyways, that is all for today's video. 
thank you guys for being here thank you guys for hanging out with me and thank you guys for accepting me looking like a straight up sewer rat right now and i will see you guys very very soon bye bye